So I was in the St Swedish National Museum here in Stockholm the other day, and what I thought was going to be a very nice experience surrounded by historical richness and beauty actually turned into a woke brainwashing session that drove me kind of crazy. So we all know how museums, they have these little description signs, right? Next to all the artworks in order to say something about the title and usually about the style of the work. Well, no longer. Nowadays, those have become apparently little manifestos in order for woke activists to indoctrinate you. Here, take a look at some of the examples that I saw. So this painting is called Joe, the Beautiful Irish Girl, and it was painted by French artist Gustave Courbet, also known for his world-famous self-portrait called The Desperate Man. But what does the Swedish National Museum want you to know about this painting? Maybe something about the artist and how he was a front-runner in the 19th century uh, in terms of realism? Well, no, not quite. The National Museum actually wants you to know the following. Female models had low status being viewed as little more than a commodity and the property of male artists. When Jo examined herself in the mirror, it was a vital act as she was entirely dependent on her appearance to make a living. And it doesn't stop there. Whilst they're at it, they'll also lecture you a little bit about contemporary times, stating that, and I quote, in the consumer culture of today, women are defined by their appearance, not allowed to age and controlled by their weight. Yeah, it's almost admirable how much they managed to put crap into a description about just a really pretty portrait. First of all, I have to say the person who wrote this clearly knows nothing about history. Let's start with the claim that female models had a low status being viewed as little more than commodity and property of the male artist. Well, that's just blatantly wrong. Has the author in question ever heard of arguably the two most famous female models in the history of Western art, may I ask? Talking about Botticelli's Venus and Da Vinci's Mona Lisa, for example. The woman who modeled for Botticelli was actually Simonetta Vespucci, who was also known and celebrated as the greatest beauty of her time. She was an Italian noblewoman from Genoa and the wife of Marco Vespucci of Florence. So, yeah. Same goes actually for Lisa Gherardini, aka Mona Lisa, who was also an Italian noblewoman and whose husband actually commissioned her portrait to be painted in the first place. Barely low in status or seen as a commodity and the property of the male artist, shall I say. Yet, the Swedish National Museum wants you to believe that for some reason, all female models are weak, exploited victims of the male gaze. If you think that I exaggerate, let me give you another example. So this is the pearl necklace painted in 1870 by French artist called Charles Chaplin. The description next to this one at first seems a little less bad, I have to admit. I mean, at least they say something about the style and the technique used by the artist. But don't cheer too soon. Pay close attention to that one little sentence that goes... Chaplin was famous for erotic and objectifying female portraits. First of all, since when is eroticism in art a crime? And second of all, why objectifying? Why not call it maybe something like, I don't know, celebrating? See, that's the thing here. These leftists who dominate the art sector are imposing their own worldview on us without any historical or factual basis. And they don't limit themselves to, let's just say, misinterpreting the past. Because, sorry, but the previous take on how women in today's consumer society are defined by their appearance, not allowed to age and controlled by their weight. Well, that's just nonsense. I mean, come on, give me a break. We're not. At least those of us who see through your attempts to limit us to a life of perpetual victimhood, we are not. So, please. Do us all a favor, go ahead and study again some gender theory and go and write something for a left-wing journal if you're into unfactual propaganda, but please leave us and art alone.